Please vote. Vote or else. Portia knows anything she needs me to do, I'm there and ready. Janae from Los Angeles said, Kenya, you clearly don't believe Portia's recent activism work is legit. Why not support the greater cause and her journey instead of constantly talking bad about it? So I never said that I didn't believe in what she's doing because the greater good is bigger than anything that's going on here. But she excluded me from the PSA. So if you're talking about being a bigger person and thinking about a cause, then to me, those things tell me otherwise. They're contradictory. You know, to do anything that I'm doing, it comes from a very humble place. It comes from a place of me wanting to sacrifice myself for any of the black women that are out here, for any black men that are out here. The cause is bigger than me. So whatever she has to say about me personally, it's not going to stop anything that I'm doing at all. So why not include her in the PSA? Why would I want to bring someone who speaks so you would already about question my her efforts? Motives. Why would I even... Her why actions are showing her that she doesn't care about all of our lives. While you're talking from the curb, what have you done don't in the street? Don't question my activism. I would, why and are so you questioning you mine? They don't match, Portia. Believe you're in so the words that you say. About Do me. what you want to do. Would you like me to be silent? I would like for you to be real. What have you done don't in the street? Don't question my activism. I would, why and are so you questioning you mine? They don't match, Portia. Stop it. You're trying. Believe you're in so the words that you say. About Do me. what you want to do. I'm proud of what so you're doing. You feel, you don't have I'm to. proud that you went out however there, but at the same time. Fine. She yeah. did just say she was proud of your activism and what you're doing. Did you hear her say that? First of all, I'm being terribly disrespected in this moment. And so I'm not going to be fake and act like she has said all of those harmful things just now and take that one piece. That's not right. harmful. If this is that how she fact. feels. It's not going to stop you anything that I'm doing. You did not invite us to the PSA. And that's, those are petty things. Those are not. Those, those are, are petty, petty because things. you made them petty. In a case where someone has discredited me to other people in interviews constantly, that's not even someone who wants to align themselves with me. We got a lot of viewer questions and comments uh, about the Halloween episode that aired and the costume you chose to wear. Bravo recognized that this was disrespectful and offensive and issued an apology that same day to both the Native American community and the audience as a whole. You also issued an apology. Tell me what happened from that episode airing to now. Oh, wow. I received a lot of vitriol. And I remember defending myself saying, you know, well, it's part of my heritage. So I didn't understand all of the anger and where was it coming from. Okay. So, um... What is your Native American heritage? I mean, do you know? My, my family, um, they're from West Virginia. Uh -huh. And so I have aunts who have lived on reservations. I did speak to an organization, Illuminative, and they explained to me why it was so upsetting to specific Native Americans. Why is it so offensive? It's, it's offensive because it's not, it's not supposed to be a costume. Customs are not costumes. And I thought I was honoring something that was beautiful, that was full of strength. And it wasn't, because for them, even feathers, um, eagle feathers, all of those things are, are sacred to them. It's um, spiritual to them. They feel underrepresented. Um, they don't want to be made fun of and they don't want people to not take them seriously. And when people wear costumes like that, it makes them feel like they're being mocked. It was such a bad mistake on my part because if I have this heritage, I should have known better. Mm -hmm. You know, I find it really interesting that you always want the understanding, you always want the forgiveness immediately, but you never extend that to anyone else. Because when we started the season, I remember seeing an interview where you would say, oh, well, she doesn't know anything about the Underground Railroad. The day they taught about the Underground Railroad and the day they taught a class on class. She missed both of those. That was also a teachable moment. It was terribly irresponsible for me to be on you national never television. Said that. Yes, I did on Watch What Happens Live. I definitely needed to correct that, even for myself. Yes. And what I did, I went back, forget the clock, but yes. I went back. <laughs> so I went back and I read up on the Underground Railroad and everything else. And because I do want to represent that part of my life and my legacy better than I did. I had went on oh, Andy's show. There were memes. It was I, a whole. I put her on the grill. He did. He did. And, you know,
the same way you're coming today, which I'm proud of you for educating yourself because you recognize it was very ignorant, very hurtful to that culture is the same way that for my very own culture as an African-American, I knew that is terribly irresponsible for me to have done that. But yet here we are years later and you're using the Underground Railroad to shame me and what I'm doing for Black Lives Matter. So all I'm, I'm using saying is that, that to shame you, you how for Black Lives Matter. You That's are? not true. Can you see how contradicting you are? I see the contradiction in what you're saying, Portia, because what you're saying is incorrect. So you never acknowledge the fact that you posted a photo of your sister wearing Native American wear. And that is not right. In Drew's case, she dressed as an Indian woman for Halloween also. Oh. So it would be nice, instead of pointing a finger, to say, yes, we have all made these mistakes and let's try to do better because now we know better. If it was me who would have come on the show with that on, you would be sitting here using it as a way to roast me right now, just as you are bringing up Drew, right. just as you're bringing Thank up you. my sister. There when are someone, other things that you do. When someone turns have and decides to be better, let them be better. This is what you don't know. We wore that at my mother's family reunion, so it wasn't a Halloween costume. You're talking about over 10 years ago at a family reunion, we did a ceremony for our ancestors in Louisiana where we all wore Native American, and those weren't costumes from Party City. It was actually made by my mother's great-grandmother. The picture so that they showed that is what it is. You were in so you can ask my mom. That was for my sister's Hashtag Halloween. That was for my sister's Hashtag Halloween. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to be right back. 